cry. It's going to be okay. It'll be all right. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Mr. Teddy's kind of sad this morning. Mr. Teddy, do you want to tell our friends why you're feeling sad today? Go ahead. Friends, do you remember in our other video that Mr. Teddy got new socks for Christmas? He did. And they have teddy bears on them. Do you see the little teddy bear? Oh, but I see, Mr. Teddy, where you are missing a sock. Well, you know what? It's probably in your toy somewhere or maybe under your bed. I will help you search for it, okay? But I have an idea. Why don't we read a fun book together to help you get your mind off of it and to feel better? Will that be okay? Okay, don't be sad. It's all right. Sit in your chair, and after we read a book together, I will help you search for that sock. Okay? Hi, guys. Let's read this book together, and maybe it'll help Mr. Teddy. This book is called Pigs in the House. It was written by Stephen Crawl, the author. And these cute pictures were drawn by Tim Kirk. On the front cover, I see three little pigs. Do you see them? The title says Pigs in the House. Oh, dear. Do pigs belong in a house? No. Let's see what's going to happen. It says in their pig pen, nice and wide, Three cute pigs live side by side. There they are, sitting in their mud and their water, and they look very happy, don't they? It says Farmer Matt came in one day, and he fed the pigs and spread some hay. What, Mr. Teddy? It's okay. What do you want to say? You're right. You heard rhyming words? Good. Mr. Teddy is paying attention. Do you remember what a rhyming word is? Rhyming words are two words that have the same ending sound. And if we say them in a certain way, our mouths will make the same shape at the end of the word. Did you hear day and hey, Mr. Teddy? Yes? Okay, you're right. Let's say those two words, day, hey. Ready? Day, hey. Did you see how my mouth made the same sound at the end of those words? That means they rhyme. Good listening, Mr. Teddy. Good noticing. So here's Farmer Mac, and he's feeding those pigs. So yes, I think it's on a farm. It says the farmer was running late, and he forgot to lock the gate. Late? Gate. Does that rhyme? It does. Uh-oh. Do you see the gate right there? Where is it? There it is. And the piggies are peeking out. And the farmer's walking away. What's going to happen? Are the piggies going to get out? Uh-oh. It says with a breeze, the gate opened wide and all the pigs just ran outside. Wide? Side. That rhymes. That's right. It says Farmer Mac was busy planting seeds, and Bess, his wife, was pulling weeds. Rex, the dog, was outside too, getting all the cows to moo. To moo. That's two words that rhyme. So look, everybody's busy on the farm. Do you think they're going to even notice that the pigs are loose? I don't know. It says nobody saw or seemed to care. So the pigs went up the farmhouse stairs. They're going up the stairs which lead into the house. Remember the title? Pigs in the house? Uh-oh. First in the den, they looked around and they found buttons and trains going round. Uh-oh, they're playing with the farmer's train set. 
you're right, Mr. Teddy, you're right. Next, the TV with lots of noise and a carton full of toys. Noise, toys. Does that rhyme, Mr. Teddy? Yes, you're correct. So look, two of the piggies are watching TV. And one is getting into the toy box. Uh-oh, that sounds like trouble. In the bedroom, the piggies didn't rest. They jumped on the bed springs and put them to the test. Boy, oy, 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 oy. Uh-oh, do you see all the feathers flying around? Sometimes pillows have feathers inside. Oh, and they're making a big mess, aren't they? What, Mr. Teddy? You're right. Pigs usually are messy animals. That's true. Oh, the kitchen. They made bubbly shakes and three gooey layer cakes. Shakes? Cakes. Do those two words rhyme? They do. Uh-oh, do you see the pig eating a piece of cake? And pigs over here with shakes. And it looks like they're balancing. Uh-oh. What do you think, my friends? Pigs in the house. Is that a good idea? Mm. Uh-oh, now they're up in the attic. That's at the very top of the inside of the house. And look at that. They found glasses and jewelry and a tall top hat and two trunks with masks and plumes. A plume is like a feather. Just the things for great costumes. Plumes? Costumes. Does that rhyme? It does. Uh-oh. Here comes Farmer Mac and Bess. They're coming back inside for lunch and rest. Just imagine their surprise when the kitchen met their eyes. What do you think they're thinking right there? Oh gosh, what a big mess. How would you feel if you walked in your house and found that? Then they looked at their bed and it was like a sack. Their whole house was out of whack. Sack, whack. Do those two words rhyme? If you said yes, you're right. Mac and Bess climbed up the stairs, shouting like 10 angry bears. Stairs, bears. Does that rhyme? It does. What, Mr. Teddy? N no. No, there's no bears in the story. They're just saying that the characters are angry like a bear. Well, I know not all bears are angry, honey. You're right. You're right. As their shouts turned to a roar, pigs stood trembling at the door. Roar, door. Does that rhyme? It does. And look. Do you see the eyes peeking out from around the door? Those are those three pigs. And I think they know they're in trouble. Out they raced. What a sight. Mac and Bess jumped back in fright. Sight? Fright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three strange creatures rushed away. Nobody could make them stay. And who are the three strange creatures? Do you see them? It's the piggies. And look, they're all dressed up in costumes. That piggy has on red high heel shoes. Uh-oh. Where do you think those three pigs are going? Quickly, Farmer Mac and Bess ran outside, but could not guess. Who was it they should blame? Everything just seemed the same. Now let's think about this. Do the farmer and his wife, do they know who that was that was in their house? Look at their faces. They look kind of confused. What, sweetie? Yeah, you're right. I don't think they know that it was the pigs. I don't think they know. 
You're right. But I see the piggies. Do you see them down here in the corner? They're back in their pen. Back where they were at the very beginning. In their pig pen, nice and wide, pigs were resting side by side. Wide side. That's right, it rhymes. Though it had been fun to roam, it was good to be back home. Uh, uh oh, look closely at this picture. The piggies are back in their pen. But look on this page. Somebody else is getting out. Who is that there? Do you see some cows? Do you think the cows might be getting out now? I wonder if there's a book about cows in the house. Check it out, guys. There might be. This book was called Pigs in the House. I hope you liked it. Now, Mr. Teddy, did that book kind of help you feel calmer and everything? Okay. Are you... Oh, you think pigs came in our house and took your sock? Well, I guess they could have, but well, I don't think so, Mr. Teddy. Let's go look for your missing sock. Maybe we'll find it, okay? All right. Yes, tell everybody bye. Bye, everybody. I'm going to go look for my sock. I still think those piggies got it. Oink.